Hi, I'm Allie, the hands behind the turtle trunk, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute little amigurumi apple. If you're following along with the Pregnancy Progress Project, this is week 15, where the apple and baby are both about 4 inches long. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Now let's get started. Here's what you need for today's video. You need a 4mm or G hook, medium weight or 4 weight yarn in red, green, and brown, scissors, stitch marker, yarn needle, polyfill stuffing, and then optional supplies include black crochet thread and two 8mm safety eyes. With our red yarn, we are going to start by making a magic circle. To do a magic circle, you're going to wrap the end of your yarn around your index finger and your middle finger. So you're going to wrap around once, and when you get to the top, you're going to cross it over. Bring it around, and now we have two strands on the back of our fingers. So you're going to take your hook and go under the first strand, grab onto the second one, and pull it under. You're going to flip it up, grab it with the hand on your hook, and we're going to secure it with a chain. So now we have a magic circle. So for round one, we are going to work seven single crochets inside of the circle. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. With this other strand, you can pull it tight and that's just going to close up that hole. So that's the end of round one. For round two, we are going to work two single crochets into each stitch around. So that's going to give us a total stitch count of 14. So work your first single crochet into this first stitch right here. Then I'm going to use my stitch marker to mark my first stitch. We won't be joining the ends at all, so you're going to want to use your stitch marker after each, uh, at the end of each row or at the beginning of each row. Just make sure you do the same thing so you don't get confused. And this is going to help us keep track of what row we're on and so we don't lose stitch count. So that was one single crochet. We're going to work another single crochet into the same stitch. We're going to move on to the next stitch and work another two single crochet into that second stitch. We're going to repeat that for the next stitch. One single crochet, two single crochet, and we are going to repeat this around for a total stitch count of 14. So at the end of round two, we should have a total stitch count of 14. So now we're on to round three, and for round three, we'll remove our stitch marker, and we're going to increase again. So to increase, we're going to work one single crochet in the first stitch and two single crochet in the second stitch. And then we'll work one single crochet in the third stitch and two single crochet in the fourth stitch. And we're going to repeat that around, and that's going to increase our stitch count by seven. So in our first stitch, we are going to work one single crochet, and then I'm going to replace our stitch marker into that first stitch. So in the second stitch, we're going to work two single crochet. So that's one, two, and in our third stitch, we're going to work one single crochet, and in the next stitch, we're going to work two single crochet. So we're going to continue this around, one single crochet in that stitch, and then two single crochet in the next. One single crochet in the next stitch, two single crochet in the next. We're just on the last stitch, so we're going to work two single crochet in the last stitch. And at the end of round three, we should have a total stitch count of 21. Okay, we are now on round four. So for round four, we are going to work one single crochet into each stitch around. 
So that was one single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the next, and we're just gonna work one single, one single crochet in each stitch around, and that's going to keep our stitch count at 21 for round four. I'm just coming up to the last two stitches. Oops. And this is the last stitch. So I just worked 21 stitches, one single crochet in each stitch across. So now that's the end of round four, and we are on to round five. So for round five, we are going to go back to increasing. So we are going to work one single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into the next stitch and then two single crochet into the third stitch. So one and two. So we're going to work one single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, and two single crochet in the next one. And we're just going to continue that around. One single crochet, one single crochet, and then two single crochet in the next. One single crochet, one single crochet, and then two single crochet. And we're just gonna repeat this all the way around for round five. I'm just coming up to the last stitch, so I'm gonna work two single crochets in that last stitch. And at the end of round five, you should have a total stitch count of 28. So now we'll move on to row six. And in row six, we're going to work one single crochet into each stitch around. So one single crochet in the first stitch, replace our stitch marker, one single crochet in the next stitch, and we are just going to continue that around one single crochet into each stitch around. And at the end of round six, we should have a total stitch count of 28. We're just coming up to the last stitch now. So one single crochet in that last stitch. So at the end of round six, we should have a total stitch count of 28. So on to round seven we are going to increase again. So in our first stitch, we're gonna work one single crochet, replace our stitch marker. We're going to work one single crochet into the second stitch, one single crochet into the third stitch, and then two single crochet into the fourth stitch. So one and two. So we're gonna work one single crochet into the next stitch one single crochet into the next, one single crochet into the next, and then two single crochet into the next. So you're gonna work one single crochet into the next three stitches, and then two single crochet into the fourth. We're gonna repeat this around for round seven. Two. I'm just coming up on the last couple stitches. So in the last stitch, you're gonna work two single crochets. And at the end of round seven, you should have a total stitch count of 35. We are now on to round eight. And for round eight, we are going to work one single crochet into each stitch around. So one into the first stitch. One into the next going to continue that around and by the end of round eight our row or sorry our stitch count is still going to be 35 I'm just coming up to the end of round eight and at the end of this round we should have a total stitch count of 35 so now on to round nine, and round nine is going to be our final round of increases. So we're gonna work one single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into the second stitch. 
one single crochet into the third stitch, one single crochet into the fourth stitch, and then two single crochets into the fifth stitch. So we are going to we are going to work one single crochet in the first four stitches, two single crochets in the fifth. So we're going to repeat that again, one single crochet, one single crochet in the next, one single crochet in the next, one in the next, and then two in the fifth stitch. We're going to continue that around for round nine and by the end of this round our stitch count will be at 42. So we're just coming up on the last stitch now. So in the last stitch you're going to want to work two single crochets. Okay so we're now at the end of round nine and our stitch count should be 42. Okay, we are now on to round 10. And for round 10, we are going to work one single crochet into each stitch around. So our stitch count is gonna remain at 42. We're just gonna put one single crochet into each stitch around. We're just coming up to the last couple stitches. And there you go. So at the end of round 10, we should have 42 stitches around. We are now on to round 11. And for rounds 11 all the way to round 18, we are going to work one single crochet into each stitch around. So for the next eight rounds, we're just gonna keep doing the same thing, one single crochet into each stitch around, and at the end of each round, we'll still have a stitch count of 42. So this is round 11, and we're just gonna repeat this until we get to the end of round 18. So just keep working one single crochet into each stitch around and at the end of each round you'll have 42 stitches and we're just going to continue that until the end of round 18. So I'm just going to continue around and I'm going to meet back up with you guys at the end of round 18. Okay, we're just coming up to the last couple stitches of round 18. And by the end of this round, you should have a total stitch count of 42. So before we move on to round 19, we're gonna put the eyes and the mouth on. Now this part is completely optional. Um, if you don't want to put a face on yours, you can just move on to round 19. But we're gonna stop here. And so I'm gonna grab my black crochet thread and my safety eyes. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull up this loop a little bit so it doesn't come undone. And I like to put my face on the opposite side of where we've been um, ending. So I like to count this as the front, but you can put it wherever. And then I always like to start by putting the eyes in first, but not putting the backings on quite yet. And you can decide where you wanna put yours. I generally like to put my faces kinda in the middle, in the center. Um, it doesn't really matter, so you can do whatever you'd like. So I think I'm going to go, let's see. I think I'm going to go between rows 12 and 13. So I'll just put one right there. And then I like to leave about four stitches in between. So maybe about there. And then I'm not gonna put the backings on quite yet. I'm going to put the smile on first. So for the smile, I'm just going to take my crochet thread and I'm going to loop it through my needle. And I like to use crochet thread because it's a, a nice size. It's not as thin as embroidery thread and then it's not as thick as yarn. Um, but you can use whatever you'd like. So I'm going to go through the back and I'm going to come in uh, down from the eye and then a little bit more centered. I don't want to go all the way in the center though. Um, I'm just going to go kind of beside it. Mm. But right there and pull it through and then for the bottom of the smile I'm gonna go down to the side and I just make like a little V shape 
and then you go up by the other eye and try and get it in line with the other one there and then just go back through the bottom And I think that's pretty even. So I don't secure anything until I'm 100% happy with it. So at this point, if you want to take the eyes out, move them, um, or change up how the smile is, now's a good time to do that. But I'm pretty happy with how this looks. Um, so I'm going to put the safety eyes, um, the safety part of the eyes on. So I'm just going to snap these and make sure they're nice and secure. There's that. Okay, and then I'm going to just flip it inside out and I'm just going to do a nice secure knot with the crochet thread. And then I'll just cut off the excess so it doesn't get in my way. Okay. And so now we have our face. And now we'll continue on to round 19. So for round 19, we are going to start decreasing. So we're gonna start kind of closing up the top here. So we're gonna start with one single crochet into the first stitch. one single crochet into the next stitch, one into the next stitch, and one into the fourth stitch. And then in the next two stitches, we're going to single crochet two together. So to do that, we're gonna insert our hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, insert our hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and now we should have three loops on our hook. We're just gonna yarn over and pull through all three loops. So now we just turned two stitches into one stitch. So we're going to repeat that again. We're going to work one single crochet into the next four stitches and then single crochet two together. So one, two, three, four, and then two together. And we're going to repeat that around and by the end of round 19, we should have a total stitch count of 35. And we're just coming up on the last two stitches, so we're gonna single crochet two together. And that is the end of round 19. And at the end of round 19, we should have a total stitch count of 35. So now we're on round 20, and for round 20, we are gonna work one single crochet into each stitch around. So that's going to keep our stitch count at 35. So just one single crochet into each stitch around. And we're just coming up to the last couple stitches of round 20. And at the end of round 20, we should have a total stitch count of 35. And now on to round 21. We are going to work one single crochet into the first stitch. one single crochet into the next stitch, one into the third stitch, and then we're gonna single crochet two together. So we're gonna work one single crochet into the next three stitches, and then single crochet two together. And we're gonna repeat that around, and by the end of round 21, we'll have a total stitch count of 28. Okay, we're just coming up to the last couple stitches. So in the last two stitches, we're going to single crochet two together. So at the end of round 21, we should have a total stitch count of 28. And now we're on to round 22. And for round 22, we are just gonna work one single crochet into each stitch around. So that's gonna keep our total stitch count for this round at 28. So just one single crochet into each stitch around. Okay, we're just coming up to the last couple stitches. 
and at the end of round 22, we should have a total stitch count of 28. We're now on round 23, and for round 23, we're going to work one single crochet into the first stitch, and one single crochet into the next stitch, and then we're going to single crochet two together. So one single crochet into the next two stitches, and then single crochet two together. And we're going to repeat that around, and that's going to bring our stitch count down to 21. So one single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, and then single crochet two together all the way around for a total stitch count of 21. Okay, we're just coming up to the last few stitches, so we're gonna single crochet two together in the last two stitches. So the end of round 23, we're gonna have a total stitch count of 21. So for round 24, we are going to single crochet into the first stitch, and then single crochet two together in the next two. So we're gonna keep decreasing. So we single crocheted in the first stitch, and now we're going to single crochet two together. Single crochet in the next stitch, then single crochet two together. And we're just going to repeat that around. Single crochet in the first stitch, and then single crochet two together in the next. Okay, we just have two more stitches, so we're going to single crochet the last two together. Okay, at the end of round 24, we'll have a total stitch count of 14. And now before we finish closing up the hole at the top, we're going to stuff it. So you're going to grab your polyfill stuffing and just start putting it in there. And it's really up to you how much you want to use. The more you use, the stiffer it will be. The less you use, the squishier it will be. So you can use just as much as you want. I am using about about two handfuls of it. And actually I might add just a little bit more. Okay, now that it's stuffed, we're going to move on to round 25. For round 25, we are just going to single crochet two together all the way around. So in the first two stitches, we're going to single crochet two together. And do that again in the next two. And again in the next two. So we'll single crochet two together for a total of seven times, and that's going to leave us with seven stitches at the end. Okay, so these are the last two stitches. Okay, so at the end of round 25, we should have seven stitches left. And now we're just going to leave this open for now, and we're actually done going around. So we are going to tie off our red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to cut off my red. And we're going to use this to cinch down the apple. So I'm going to leave about 12 inches at the end so I can use it to cinch it down and then sew it in. So I'm going to leave about 12 inches, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull it through and pull tight. We don't really need the stitch marker anymore, so I'm going to take that out. So now we are going to make our stem. So you're going to want to grab your brown yarn. And what we're going to do is we are going 
to make a slip knot. And then we're going to attach it to the top of the apple. Now it doesn't really matter where it goes, so I'm just going to go in the same stitch that we left off on. And you're going to attach your brown yarn right to the top of the apple. So you're going to insert your hook into that stitch. And then you're going to bring it through the slip knot on your hook. And that's just going to hold that securely there. And then we are going to chain eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we're going to work back down our chain. So you're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So this would be our first chain, and then this would be our second. So we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook, and we're going to single crochet into each stitch down. So that will be seven single crochets down the chain. when you get to the bottom we're going to slip stitch into that bottom um, stitch that we um, attached to so you're just gonna make a slip stitch and then I'm just gonna chain one and then cut off the brown and I'm gonna leave a couple inches just so I can tie it after so leave a couple inches for a tail and then take your hook and just pull that loop through and then I'm just gonna take the two tail ends of the brown and just tie them together in a knot. And then you can just hide your ends inside the apple. So this is just, this will just keep it nice and secure. And we'll just hide the ends right inside. Okay, and now we're going to move on to the leaf. So you're gonna need your green yarn. We're gonna start this off the same as we did with the stem. We're going to make a slip knot and then we're gonna attach it to the top of the apple. So I'm just gonna go right beside um, the stitch, right beside the stem. And you're just gonna insert your hook into that stitch. Yarn over, and then pull that loop through the slip knot. And we are going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five six and in the second chain from the hook we're going to work a slip stitch and then in the next stitch we're going to work a single crochet and then in the next stitch we're going to work a half double crochet and then oops, there we go. in the next stitch we're going to work a double crochet And in that last stitch, we are going to work three double crochets, all in that same stitch. So one, two, three. And by working three in the same stitch, it kind of gives a curl to the leaf. So we just worked three double crochets in the last stitch. So I'm just going to chain one and then tie off on this. So I'm just gonna leave a couple inches again. Pull that loop up with my hook. And then I'm gonna tie these ends together like I did with the stem. So this just gives the leaf a little bit of a curled look. And I think it just looks nice and more natural. So tie those in a knot, and again we can just hide these ends right in the top of the apple. Okay, and now we have to close up the hole at the top. So I'm going to grab my yarn needle and thread the end of the red through the yarn needle. And to close up the top, I'm going to weave the yarn 
through the last seven stitches at the top. So you're gonna have to work around the stem and the leaf. So I'm gonna go under the stem and then in front of the leaf and then just keep weaving in and out between these seven stitches. And then when we get back to the beginning, we're just gonna pull tight on our yarn and it's just gonna close that hole right up. Okay. So I'm just gonna pull and see that just closes it right up. And to secure this, you can just make a little knot at the top. And so right now our apple, it just kind of looks like a ball. <laughs> so to get that real apple shape where it's tapered on the top, we're gonna take our red yarn, so we're gonna keep it on our needle, and we're gonna go insert our needle right through the center. And we're gonna poke it all the way down and poke it through the bottom center. So right where that hole is where we made our magic circle. So you're just gonna poke it right through there. And then when you pull the yarn through nice and tight, it's going to cinch in that top. So if you can see when I pull on it, it cinches that in and really gives it that apple shape. So you're gonna cinch it in and then we're just gonna tie a knot at the bottom. So it's a little tricky to hold it nice and tight while you do it and make sure you don't pull so tight that um, it breaks your yarn. So you're just gonna pull it tight and then knot it at the bottom. And here we have our finished apple. So I just cut off my red yarn and made sure to tuck in all of the ends inside of the apple. And thank you guys so much for following along today and I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you a part of the Turtle Trunk family. Leave a like and comment down below and let me know what you thought of this apple. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram and be sure to tag your photos with the hashtag Turtle Trunk Love so I can see your finished apples. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.